fish video day. We've been busy. So we've been getting the trap out of the pond, catching lots of crayfish for a couple of orders. And uh, we've got three buckets ready. So we've got the, the blue bucket is a big order of females. Uh, 10 females there. Got a bucket of boys as well to make up the, brood, the breeding sets. So uh, a breeding set is three girls to one boy. And um, other females that we've been catching that are, are already buried up, they're in here. All up here is Larry. And then in here, we've got our brood tank for the, uh, for the biggest of the big ones. There's one of them, that's a girl. Too busy checking the uh, state of affairs with the eggs. Start hatching all in with the black eye. Hatching as well, mm. people, people. Ah. Oh, babies. Oh, oh, not sure. Look like, look like I see something quick. I'm okay, people. Stop it. Chill, people. No, not yet. Just hatching. Just hatching. Uh, Last tank. Oh, just hatching. Well, gonna be a right. lot bigger at the same time. How many tank? It just hatching. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, need to check the tank. Oh, yay! Nearly. Whoa! Oh! Oh, baby, 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 look, look! Oh, look! Baby! Right. Need to take the baby off. See, when I want her to check the stomach, she's not doing it. She's not done now, everybody, but... Okay. It's done. Yeah. We have to pick, put her back in a hanging, hanging tank. <laughs> Take another one. Oh, she just like, she just, she just like everybody, just like it. I recently had a question from a few of you guys about keeping crayfish and the state of affairs with the eggs. So as far as um, guesstimating how old they are. So it's, it's all about the colour, isn't it, missus? So I'm going to interview Toon because she's the egg professional. So when the, <laughs> uh, when the female lays her berries, what colour are they? when they come out? First lie egg, exactly first, is dark green. Sometimes when you look in the water, you saw it's black, but it's dark green. Then two weeks later, they start go brown. And another three weeks later to four weeks, they start all in with the little two black spot, the little eye. Then about five weeks, to six weeks, you can see they start crawl up the mum. Okay. Check them out. So when's it time to shake them out? Because you don't shake them off straight away when they hatch, do you? No. When you start see the baby crawl on a on a bottom of the bowl, is it yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if you do, what happens if you don't take take her out then and to get the other babies off? Or disappear. Disappear or disappear to their mum's stomach. <laughs> Back to their mum's stomach. <laughs> they get eat. 
Uh, and what about if the eggs go all black and stinky and horrible? No, if egg rot, if egg rot, you you can see about three weeks later because the egg st start go orange, orange brown and frosting and everywhere in the in the bowl. That's right. They'll start. You see, them, they, they they rot. Yeah. Yeah. You can take all up of the mom's stomach and put the mom back to to homework get work digging <laughs> and that's it because no point to keep them on uh, and what's the, what's the main reason for eggs going rot check too much <laughs> oh, if you check them they'll fall off yeah. if they shake the tail yeah they take the tail so yeah. much and scare them so much but if the eggs rot it, it's normally down to the water being a little bit rancid uh, yeah. just do a complete water change and uh, if you could put her into a, bu a separate bucket um, with an air stone running, we have uh, three air stones running in our main tank. It's just a simple setup off an air pump. Um, and uh, you'll see that they'll uh, they'll sort of like put their abdomen next to the air bubbles and clean their clean their young. Um, that I... that girl that not pregnant. You know when you try to find a girl, pregnant girl, to take out and put in a, in a bowl ready for hatching, you look at her tail. When she hold her tail super tight, you pick them up, they still hold the tail. That means they got egg to take care. You can move them. But if you pick up and they scrape them tail, they don't have egg, put them back to dig. Tell them to dig, do the job. <laughs> Straight tail, no egg. Curly tail, normally egg. Yeah. If no, it's a straight no tail, one. tell them to get some Viagra into their husband. And if husband. you keep seeing the... How many legs they got? Four, six. Uh, six walking yeah, legs, yeah. If you see they keep uh, get the algae. exercise on uh, the six little leg, that means they feed the egg That's baby. Right. That's right. Yeah. So even when they hatch, they still stay on the mum's abdomen and then the mum will go walking around picking up the algae with the little walking legs. If they have egg, they take care of stomach. But if they not have egg, they take care near the mouth. So easy mm. to, to tell sometimes. Yeah. If you eye on them. Keep your eye on. Keep your eye on them. Right, our job's not done yet. We need to put these in the holding tank and uh, get ready for sending them off. We send our crayfish orders throughout the whole of Thailand uh, from Monday to Thursday, uh, we don't do Friday. Make sure that the uh, the crayfish don't get caught up in the delivery service at weekends. Um, how long does it normally take, Toon? Two day to three day. You don't count the day you send. You count the day after you send. One to three days. Mm. <laughs> depends what. Depends on what. Depend where you are. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Collard is not called to see my short collard, Chiang Mai, Chiang Lai, uh, Bangkok, um, Cha Chung Sao. Um, yeah, that, that only send today, get there tomorrow. Another country after that, two day. And if you'd like any other information regarding Paul Pang Farm Crayfish, uh, check out the link to our website. Yeah, and watching video. All the answer in there. That's right. Ta-ta for now.